Hey guys, it's Lori at ArdentDesigns.ca. I'm going to show you today how to do this atomic bomb graphic in Inkscape. So I'll just select this thing and I'll nudge it off to the side here. So let's open up our align and distribute here and your edit objects, colors, gradients. Probably need those at some point. We'll go to the circle tool, click on the circle and click to drag a oval oval shape, maybe about that size. I'm going to turn it black. And I'm going to right click, right click and duplicate. I'll turn this one red. And then I'm going to go to the rectangle tool and I'll just create a rectangle going across this object here. Let's turn it blue. Maybe that color. I'm just going to move it down to where I think it might look good. make this a wider. Okay. So I'll select the blue object, I'll press shift and I'll select the red object and then I'm going to go path and division and then I'll click off the graphic. This object here, actually we'll just keep that the red. This one here, I'll just give it a gray color for now. We can come back and uh, change the colors afterwards. Okay. So I'm going to select all three of these objects and use this button to drop them down to the bottom. And this duplicate copy that we made earlier, I'm just going to bring the opacity down so that we can see above it and I'll change the color to blue so we can see it even better. So what we're going to do with these extra shapes here is we're going to create this shadow here. If I zoom in, you'll see that we got a bit of a shadow on this side and we got some, some shine on this side. So we're going to create that. So we'll start with this side here. I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And we'll color this pink. I'll press Ctrl and I'll just drag this off to the side here. I'm actually going to scale the pink one up. Press Shift and Ctrl. Just eyeball it, see what it looks good to you. And I'm going to press select both of them, the pink and the blue. We'll go path and difference. Okay, so this shape here, I'm going to give it this dark color as well. And I'm going to make sure the opacity is way down on that one. And let's see here. I should have duplicated that again, but I didn't. So what we'll do is we'll select all three of these. We'll go Control D to duplicate it. And the duplicated copy, we will go Union. So now we have a solid piece again. Going to bring the opacity down on that. I'm going to turn it something we can see underneath. And make sure your opacity is down. I'm going to shrink this by pressing Shift and Control and this scaling handle here. And this time we're creating this shine here. So we'll press Control D to duplicate this. And we'll color it something else. Uh, maybe something brighter so we can see. This one we will scale up just a little bit. I'll press control and I'll drag it off to the side and I'll scale it down. So this portion here, maybe I'll change that to white. Okay, so this is the part we want to keep. So I'm just going to move that in. All right. Um, more. All right, I'll go with that. I'll press shift and I'll select both of these oval shapes. We'll go path and difference. Now I'll bring the opacity all the way up on this. So what I've done is I've actually cut this in half. You'll see that there's a little bit of gap between the two shapes here. So I'll show you how I did that. I'm going to select this gray object. Press Control D to duplicate it. We'll color it maybe blue. And I'm going to bring the opacity down so you can see underneath. I'm just going to make it bigger. So I'm, I've got a bit of a gap on either side here. That's what I want to create is the gap. Okay, so the, with this blue object, so I'm going to press Shift and select the white object. Path, difference. So I've cut it in half. Now I need to go to the nodes tool right here. Select this object. 
And when we cut it in half, it created some extra nodes. So I'm just going to press path and simplify and see if that works for me. It does, but I, I still need to get rid of this one. So I'm just going to delete it with this button right here. Select it and delete it. And next, I'm going to select this node. And I'm just going to move it over on top of this node here. And if you need to, you can select your handles and just uh, change them. I kind of like, I think it's just fine. Oh, maybe not. Okay, let's check that again. Okay. All right, so this one, same thing. Just gonna move this over to the other node and this I will change a little bit Just make it look a little bigger okay so we've got both of our sides I'm just going to start to color here I'm going to press F7 I'm going to select the colors that I chose earlier F7 the tool. Okay, so we're going to create this fin type shape here. We go to the square tool, press shift and control, we'll get a perfect square. And I'm going to select, let's try it black first so you can see it better. I'll bring the opacity all the way up. Let's select this circle object and just give it a slight bit of rounding there. So it looks like that. And next we're going to select it and we're going to select it again. So we get these rotation handles, but we're going to skew it. We're going to click on this one here on the side. I'm going to skew it upwards like that. So I'm going to right click on this, duplicate it. With the duplicated copy, I'm going to flip it with this button here. And then I get to turn these snapping objects on, snap to paths. I'm going to press control. I'm just going to drag this over until it snaps. So now you see I've got this circular object in the middle here. So just grab a circle, press shift and control. However large you think, just eyeball it. And place it about there. I'm going to press shift and select these two side objects. I'm going to group them temporarily and then I'll select all of these objects. We'll get our align and distribute tab. This button right here. Center vertically and click off the graphic. All right. Let me make that smaller. Okay, so I'll select all of these objects. I'm gonna group them together just so that I can center it a lot easier. I'll turn these snaps off. They don't, I don't really need them anymore. I press shift and select this oval object and center on the vertical axis again. And just place it as far down as you think it needs to go. And we'll go with that. And right here, we just need to add this last bit of shine. So let's ungroup this, ungroup our pieces, click twice. So we need to access this object here. I'm gonna press Control D to duplicate it. Turn it, uh, maybe a shade of gray so we can see it. So I'm gonna shrink this in using Shift and Control. I'm going to press Control D to duplicate it. I'll turn it to uh, this color up here, blue. And then go to the fill in stroke and we'll turn the opacity down. Press Shift and Control. We'll scale this up a little bit. And we'll just move it over until you get a shape that you like. This is pretty good. I'm going to press Shift and select the gray object with the blue object and we'll go path difference. Okay, and while I have it selected, I'm going to press F7 and I'm just going to drag through here with my dropper tool and color it the same thing. I'm actually going to zoom in here. I select this with the node tool. Let's see if I can shape this a little different. Just 
just so it matches this corner a little bit. You can play around with that a little more if you like to. Just move the handles until you get something you like. All right, uh, let's see. So the text looks like the end. Just gonna select this and press F7. That's better. Okay, so atomic, let's get that text down. So we'll go to the rectangle tool, click on the board, create a rectangle, and control your rounding with this object here. I'm just gonna do some very slight rounding like so. I'll turn it black and I'm gonna bring the opacity all the way up. Go to the select tool, probably needs to be a little bit wider. I'll go about there. Okay, so we'll go to the text tool, click inside here, write atomic, color it white or uh, whatever color. I'm going to choose this color actually, and I'll scale it so I can see it. And I'll go to the text tool up here, this letter T, open it up, double click it, it'll help you get it to the top. Sometimes it, it stacks down here. And I'm using one called Bungie. Bungie normal. I'll click apply. And I'll close out of this menu. I'm going to select the black. Actually, yeah, I'll select the black object. I'm just going to make it a little bit longer. So I have some nice padding around the, the word. And then I'm going to select both objects. I'm going to open up the align and distribute again. Center vertically and horizontally. Okay, so let's deselect everything. Select only the text. Path, object to path. This finalizes our text, makes it editable. We're going to ungroup these items so there are individual bounding boxes on there. Then we're going to go path union to join them up. And then I'm going to select both objects and group it together. So now we can go to path, path effects editor, and we can bend it into the shape that we want. Path effects. So once you got your path effects open, click this plus sign. Look for the one called bend. And we'll choose this object here, edit on canvas. We get this green line that we can push up and create curvature. Now the, I advise against using this because you're just going to, I'll show you, but don't follow me. Uh, it just distorts the text. I'll just press Control Z to undo that. So when I hover over this, you can see the outline of the original word, how it was originally. That means we have to finalize this. So let's select it, go to Path, Object of the Path, and now it's, it's uh, we can't edit it anymore in the Path Effects. So I'll just close out of that menu. And I'll scale that down using Shift and Control. And I'll press shift, select the oval shape here. I'm going to go to the align and distribute tab, open that again, vertically and horizontally. Actually, no, I'm just going to press control and drag it down. Maybe about there. And let me see. Okay. Well, it's up to you where you, how you place it, how it looks best to you. Okay. So that is how you can create this graphic using Inkscape. If you like the tutorial, please do hit that like and subscribe and thank you for watching.